This recipe is going to be for 10 gallons of laundry soap. So I think I worked it out to be approximately 350 loads of laundry and it cost me under $12. I will put a link to every single thing that's going to be in this recipe as well as make a coordinating blog post so that you can check the recipe so you don't have to watch the video every time when you're trying to make it. Now, this recipe does contain borax. If you're going to have a problem finding borax, I am going to put a link in the description for a few places where you can find borax. If you still can't find borax, I'm also going to put a link in the description for some alternate recipes that don't need borax in order to make it. If you live in Canada, you're going to have a problem finding certain ingredients, maybe even other parts of the world, but in Canada, you can't find Zope soap. And if you want to buy it on Amazon, it's crazy expensive. I happened to find a really good deal and the person that I bought it off of actually changed their listing after I purchased it to be something outrageous, like $70. If you live in Canada or somewhere where you cannot find Zote soap, you can alternatively use Fels, I think it's Fels Naptha soap. It looks like this. And if you can't find that still, I will put the link in the description to some alternate recipes that don't require either of those things. Make sure you shake this up before you use it. I have tested it on cold water and hot water. It's taken all the odors out of my laundry. It doesn't have a very heavy scent, so if you have a sensitivity to laundry soaps, this is going to be a great recipe for you. Let me know how your laundry soap turned out, and I will talk to you guys later. You will also need a five gallon bucket, some mason jars or containers to put your laundry soap in when you're done. Optionally, you will need some type of scent booster or essential oil. So the first thing you'll need is 14 ounces of Zote soap, which is just one bar, one cup of baking soda, half a cup of OxyClean, that's optional, two and a quarter cups of washing soda, and two cups of borax. Then you wanna take your Zote soap and just grate it into a bowl like this, and then take the shavings and add them to a pot that you have previously warmed on the stove. You do not want to boil the water, but you do need it to be kind of warm, a little bubbly at the bottom. Mix your ingredients until they're all dissolved. You don't want any clumps. It will kind of suds up a little bit, but that's no big deal. Once everything's dissolved, it'll look like this, and then you want to slowly or quickly add your borax into your pot and mix it all until there are no more clumps. Once the clumps have all been dissolved, you'll know because it'll change textures and turn into this gelatinous type gel, just like dish soap or laundry soap. Once this step is complete, you can pour this into your five gallon pail. Then you'll wanna add the remaining part of the bucket with water, with hot water. Then you can add your two cups of washing soda and your one cup of baking powder, baking soda, sorry and then mix everything together. This is easier if you have a long spoon. Um, you can add a little bit of glycerin at this point, but it's not necessary. Then put your lid on and leave it for the day or I left mine overnight. And then you'll notice that it'll turn into this hard gel. But at this point you can add your essential oils. Add as much as you want, or you can even add those scented laundry booster beads at this point. I use this mixing tool because I just have it here already, but you can just stir it with a big stick. It might take a little bit longer, but you're just trying to break up all of the gel. This is a concentrated form of the laundry soap, so you'll want to add half water to any container you're putting in, and then half of the solution that we just made. And I just took a funnel from the automotive section, and then I just spooned in the remaining fluid into my containers. If you don't have any laundry jugs, you can use mason jars like this. Just make sure you do half water and half laundry soap. This will make 10 gallons of laundry soap, so I underestimated how many containers I would need, and I was still left with three gallons left over without any containers. So I just put the lid back on and then I filled up the containers that I had. This will last for a long time, 350 loads. So I hope you enjoyed and good luck to you. Bye guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more. Subscribe, like us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. This is last week's video and I'll see you guys next time. Now, why did I do that? This is a, the soap. It works great. Takes any orders. Take. Blah, 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 blah.